now if you're looking, how far have we gone or how much we gone in education? Any of you can take it. <laughs> we'll both take it. Uh, you both take uh, it. Elsie will start. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I teach engineering students. And the engineers are supposed to be the innovators. They are supposed to be the ones to be doing the wonderful things yeah. to see us develop and so on. And year in, year out, I don't know whether we are achieving that objective. Because we have too many of our inputs. You see, the inputs are the, the students from the high schools. And they come in, including the very ones that uh, sit with me on stage. They are the best and the brightest. Mm -hmm. And yet, something is wrong with the education because they are not able to translate all those mm. theories, mm. all those wonderful ideas, all that foundation into useful outcomes. This is a problem I have. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's something not quite right. Yeah. And just recently, the winners of the 2018 National Science and Math Quiz went to see the president, and I was there. And the young men, uh, one of them spoke very eloquently. They had been in a competition in Portugal, and you know, they won, so they are the best and brightest science mm -hmm. students, but they couldn't do the competition. Wow. They didn't understand it because they couldn't even understand and recognize how the equipment they were given wow. worked. Wow. That's sad. So they know all the theories. So the young man said they can, they can tell you everything about the theories, they can describe mm -hmm. everything, they can explain everything, but they cannot apply mm. anything. Mm. And that really touched me, and I see it with my students. Mm. So we need to rethink the way we are yeah. teaching yeah. and the way we are educating our young people because they have so much potential mm. that it's not mm. being translated mm. into useful products, solution of our real-life problems. Mm. Wow.